You guys, I did a bad thing. Besides make this dreadful coffee. It's really not that great. Some bad things. <laughs> I have not read enough books to justify this purchase. Yesterday I got a little bit carried away at the half price books. If you've been watching my channel at all, you know that I have way too many books and I've been really trying to downsize this year. I did manage to pack away a box of books, but of course I get rid of books and then immediately fill up my shelves again. Hey, I, I have a little bit of a problem. I am so behind in this journal. I got this copy of Pickwick Papers at Long Brothers Fine and Rare Books in downtown Seattle. I was eavesdropping on the owner who was ringing up these customers who had asked if he carried any like fantasy books. He said he only carries books that he's familiar with. So there weren't a lot of genre books in the store. There were a lot of titles I didn't recognize and I felt I felt a bit dumb. It's a wine bar as well. I don't drink alcohol, but it might be appealing to some people. I felt very fancy, very sophisticated, which I can't say is necessarily me. God damn it, I don't want picnic papers. Pick wick papers. But if you're ever in downtown Seattle, I would recommend going to this place. And it's right across from Arendelle Books, which is where I picked up this copy of Kidnapped. You might be more familiar with Stevenson's Treasure Island, which I read and I really enjoyed, so that's why I picked up this one. I was so jealous because my friend got to go into the restricted section with all the pricey things that they have roped off, and then there's me with the rest of the peasants. That was the end of August that I got these. And now we're at the end of September. I bought Billy and the Min Pins by Roald Dahl. I also do not know what this is about. It shouldn't take me hopefully very long to get through it. If it does, I think I need to go see a doctor. I picked this up because I really enjoyed the first book, The Book of Lost Things, which is set during like World War II. It's about this kid who ends up in another world. It has like Snow White and other classic fairy tales, but they have a dark twist. Gruesome. But now I have to add these books. I have his book 1984 and I haven't read that yet, so I don't know why I bought this one, except that it was sitting out with a bunch of vintage old paperbacks and I was like, sure. Why not? I'm so upset I did this. I probably should have just left the price tag on, but that would probably annoy me more than this. Why do they do that? Why? Why do they do that? Ever since I read King Leopold's Ghost in July, I've been looking for a copy of Heart of Darkness. The sticker came off pretty easily on this one. It has nice gilded gold pages. Doesn't even look like it's been read. In King Leopold's Ghost, the author talks about Joseph Conrad's experience in the Congo during the time that King Leopold of Belgium was ruling there and all the horrors that he saw, which made him write this book. Look what I did. Look what they did. They did this. I just took the sticker off. Very upsetting. 1961. Wow, that's older than my mom. Ancient. What is this even about? It won a Nobel Prize, so it's doing something right, right? Is this my dust or their dust? Gross. See, this is why I don't get used books. Ugh. Then I grabbed Ragtime by E.L. Doctorow. You know, I also don't know what this is about, but it's a classic. And I was just feeling it, you know? I was just adding. This is the first time I ever used a basket at the Half Price Books, and I was just tossing books in like crazy. The rest of it's crap, but the R? Chef's Kiss. Got a copy of The Naked and the Dead. That's my dust. God. Never get a white dog. I have a lot of World War II novels that I haven't read yet, but none of them are based in the Pacific. 
Then I picked up a copy of Berlin Diary by William L. Shirer. It's entries from his journal from his time as a foreign correspondent in Germany during Hitler's rise. And I recently watched the documentary Evil on Trial on Netflix, and I thought that was really well done. He's featured a lot in the documentary, and so I've been wanting to read more of his work, or at least any of his work. I haven't read anything from him yet. Oh no, I ran out of spells. This means I can't buy anything until October. So yeah, that's it for all the books that I've recently purchased. And I have October here, which I need to finish setting up. Should I try to like do some different colors on this? Seems like an awful lot of work. Okay, fine. We'll do one other color. Well, that's dusty. Ooh. Goodness, it's fine. You don't have to dust for the entire month of October. It's aesthetic. Brush corduroy. I don't even know if I want to use this color. Let's go in the back and check. Ridiculous. Ew. Does it go with that? I don't like those together. What about? Oh, okay. Wait, this is called Scattered Straw, and it's a scarecrow. You know, what? I'm gonna go with that. And I don't care that that's not dry. I should make the little crow black. Ooh. There we go. I don't think this is going to be dark enough. Nope. I think my pad has dried because I talk too much. All I do is ramble. I'm not breathing too heavily. I had this coffee and now it's making my heart palpitate. little creatures. I could do a pumpkin. Some leaves. Oh, and then I have all these little horror ones. Put some brains down. Rest in peace. Oh, I did a spider in one of the last ones I did. Where did I? When did I read that? Oh my god, I'm giving myself a headache. Oh, yeah, I did. Like, look at that, look at that. I did a little web and the spider coming down from it. I was very happy with that. Look at it. Look at it. It's the same fly, only smaller. So I could do the same thing, but then it'd be like copying it. Well, this is a C and this is an L. I could put it in a C. Put it in the O. O, 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 O'Reilly. Charming. Charming. Wow, I'm having all sorts of trouble. The end? Oh wait, no, it's gonna be like the end. No. Where? Which way would the? Which way do we want it to? How do we? How do spider webs work? That? Yeah. That? Like? You want it? You want it like that? Yeah. Damn you, dumb. With a little spider. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. Got my little acrylic cylinder. What am I doing? Oh, I could do silver. Should I do silver for the web? Silver. Gray. Silver. 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 Live a little. E. Wow, I can't see that at all. Hello. Well. And then we did a little spider, and it needs to hang down from its butt, right? Okay, this requires the precision. Oh, hold on. Oh, shoot. Well, I don't like that. Sticker. Sticker time. We'll put the sticker over it later. Let's try this again, shall we? I don't care anymore. I'm trying to become less afraid of spiders. I've watched enough videos of jumping spiders that I think, I think maybe, 
I would allow one to be in my presence. Double, double, toil and trouble, cauldron, something, bubble. E. <laughs> like I said, this required precision. So I was thinking of putting this here. I haven't stuck in a list of books that I want to read for any of the other months, but because I specifically like to read horror in October, I'm going to create a list and then stick it in here, I think. I swear, I know what I'm doing. Oh, Jesus. I bet you this is just going to look like a blob. I could test it. Mm. Ooh, there you go. Need some washi. Oh, I got, I got, I got, I got, I got kitty cats. I got crows. Dead animal skeletons. Oof, that's pretty thick. Am I gonna have room? I'm gonna get like one book read, so. But that's still like taking up a lot of space. You're screaming, children. Why? Do a line of crows. A mid, mid of crows. The crows have eyes. Ooh, do we like that? What are we thinking? I'm thinking, yes, go with it. Do, 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 do. Perfection. I'll probably fill this in later and then just pop on here to show you. I'm not gonna do it now. God. Where's my pan? I need my pan. How many garbage cans do they have over there that they need to empty? My God. Where's my damn Metropolitan? Hello. Okay. The spider butt I should probably get a ruler. Beautiful. Kyo. Neko. Why is this taking me so long to do? Do, 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 do. Brains. We could have this one eating the little one. Right, right? It's coming off the pit. Right, right? The little one is going to get eaten. Oh, no. Ooh, ooh. Cover this up with like a little, like a bug, a little butterfly that's been caught in the spider web. I'm walking in the spider web to leave a message and I'll call you back. Oh, I can rip it in half and then it just like has, no, no, we don't need to do that. Entomologists are like, but they're not horrific. Well, this is about as much as I can do right now. All right. Well, I hope everybody enjoys this cozy fall time. Please leave horror recommendations down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye. So I went a bit crazy. What is on my pants? Why is that sticky? <laughs> Excuse me for scratching my head. I gotta adjust my bra again. I need new clothes. I don't need any more books. I need clothing. It's giving underconsumption core. Oh, tea. Frau Blucher. <laughs> Said I give.